So Charlie, you've just come back today from uh, from the injury. What have you done, and um, how did you how did you sustain it? I opened up my medial ligament. I would, the first time I did it was at Burnley. It was a block tackle which opened it. I then played on, mm -hmm. which I didn't know would make it worse, but did in the end. So yeah. it kept me out for a bit longer. And then basically this time it's happened. Where were you? How did you know? And it was, um, Oldham, Boundary Park, and the FA Youth Cup. It was a tackle again, and I felt it straight away. It was Shane Payne, sharp. Yeah. And just knew it happened again. Yeah. Um, so talk me through your rehab because it can be quite a long, quite a slow process. How was it for you hitting your targets? Were you getting them every week? Was it easy? At first, it was pretty hard because knee was still a bit sore, so you can't do much. Yeah. You just have to let it rest. Yeah. But after a couple of weeks, when you can get back into it, put weight on it, the targets get easier and they're easier to meet. Yeah. And what sort of like exercises were you doing? What did you feel like you got the most out of? Um, cross trainer is hard. And when you're on the treadmill doing the hill runs, yeah. it's good as well for your fitness. Because it goes quite a high intensity, doesn't it? Yeah. If you're starting off on the bike, which is not really any weight, and then you're running, it can be quite difficult. Um, how did you feel that your prehab went? Did was it as difficult as you first thought it would be when you when you actually put weight on it or it was good to start with because I let it rest and letting it rest obviously it healed it quicker. Yeah. Then when got into the prehab, doing all the exercise it made it better. Yeah. And then prehab is not just the physical side of recovery, there's also kind of like the mentality of being injured. Did it weigh you down? Did you did you get demotivated? Yeah, a bit. It's just annoying, like, see all the other lads out, outside having fun training. Yeah. And you're inside on your own. Yeah. But running. I suppose Tom Walsh, he was the person that was treating you. Yeah. Um, how does he keep you on track? How does he keep you motivated? He monitors you close. He's always making sure you're all right. Yeah. Make sure there's no pain. Doesn't push you too far so the injury reoccurs. Yeah. It's good. That's good because I suppose you get quite close to Walsh with you yeah. being in the treatment room and that kind of thing. Um, so you was out for probably about four weeks yeah. really. When did you kind of notice your improvement coming along? What week did you say? Three. Three, three weeks in. Okay. Yeah. Um, and now that you're back and you're fit and you're training again, how do you feel your fitness levels are? Good but still improving because yeah. I have missed a lot of games so match fitness isn't there. Yeah. Just need to get a few games under. Under your belt. Yeah. And then come back into that, the dressing room because when you're injured you come out of it slightly. Is it quite easy to get back in with the lads? Yeah, all the lads are close. Nice. No, always asking when you come back how you're doing. So. Yeah. Close. Good. And then finally, your kind of programme to prevent re-injury, I suppose, might be quite intense because it's not the first time it's happened, yeah, it's the second. second time. So. What kind of things have you got to do? What's it, what does it involve? Just my leg weights to keep the knees strong. Yeah. Uh, make it stronger so it stops it from reoccurring. Yeah. And the band work also uh, strengthens the knee and yeah. the upper leg so it stops it from.